Let me show you how we can build a better ChatGPT interface with Ionic components and Tailwind styling. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev and today we're trying to make this UI with Ionic components and Tailwind styling because actually there's a bit room for improvement here and we can certainly replicate this very very easily with built-in components very quickly hopefully. So I've started a blank new application and I want to add two pages. So one for the actual chat view and one for the menu. We're gonna do a little split pane setup, shouldn't be too hard with Ionic. Additionally, I want to use Tailwind this time simply because Ionic brings great components and Tailwind brings great utility classes and we can easily combine this in an application to get the best of both worlds. So go ahead. Yes, of course, I want to install it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have added that command. Um, I want to use SCSS in my project. I will actually use forms and typography uh, instantly so I don't have to manually edit. Uh, and then we should be good. Let's check out the Tailwind config. Uh, Tailwind config should include the plugins. Yeah, there we go. I, I'm actually not sure if we're going to use them, but it should, won't hurt to have them. So let's bring up um, Ionic Surf, or actually I'm going to do Ionic Cap Run iOS Live Reload. I'm going to use the iPhone 14 simulator. Uh, no real device today because that should be fine. And then we should be able to dive into our app. So I'm going to remove the home page. We won't use the home page. And then we're going to have to change our app routing. So this will complain now because we have no home module. So we're getting rid of this. Um, we're actually cutting out this chat route because the menu will be our first route. This is what we want to render first. Um, also, is this already up and running? Yeah, that's nice. So we should be able to go to localhost something. There we go. Here's our app. Simulator is also coming up. We're firing on all cylinders. There we go. Um, yeah, probably want to go with this one with the menu first because the app is still loading. So let's implement our menu. Um, in the menu HTML and in the menu CSS and menu routing, uh, we can implement this. So first of all, I'm going to put in my child route here because that's required for the Ionic menu setup. The only thing we're going to have in here is, let's close this, our chat page. Uh, let's fix the path and then we already have the chat in here. But actually, I'm going to make it available um, and yeah, I'm going to make it available at chat and then we can add a little redirect so that we automatically get to that page. Um, let's see. We're going to add path, uh, the empty path, and then we're going to add redirect to. We actually don't have to say menu chat. We can just say chat at this point, but I want to have a path match full, which means if we come at the blank path here, uh, we're going to be redirected to chat automatically. And that's important to show the actual page of the site menu. So let's add the site menu. Do I have a shortcut for that? Something like a split pane? Oh yeah, there's a, ooh, there's a lot in here. Um, it's definitely not disabled and we don't really need any of that. I just want to have like the general setup. Um, we also don't really need to supply any of that. You just need to make sure that you have the content ID, the content ID and on the ion router outlet, once again, the same ID. Once you have that, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, that's the actual site menu. Uh, menu, let's call this menu. Oh, that one looks, um, I think it's actually right. Uh, only thing is that I just want to have this on small. Yeah. So now chat is covering the full page. And once we get bigger, we have the site menu. That is the split pane setup. Um, if we would use different colors and we can do this in a second. It becomes even more apparent what we're doing. So let's go to the menu page and on the menu page, we're going to say that our background, uh, do we want to say it in here? Yeah. Let's say. Um, ion content. Actually, let's use it for pretty much everything. Let's use it for ion content item list and toolbar uh, and use a little gray color. This won't work immediately, but I found that we need to supply this color in two places. So you can also just say on the uh, ion menu 
or on the actual ion content that we put in here, so where it says start, we could have the class uh, background, what do we use, gray 900, right? So if I use gray 900 in here, now it finally works. But it didn't work before, and I think we need to uh, use it in both here and here. So if I comment this out, it will be gone again. But if I only use it in here and not in the page, it's also not there. So I cut this out once again. So we really need to have it in both places to make it finally work. Nonetheless, this will give us a nice little dark background. That's what we're going to do. Uh, also for the toolbar. So let's use for the toolbar the same dark background. And actually, I don't want to have a title. So we only have this dark thing going on here. Cool. Now in the content, just like in the chat GPT UI, we need a button for a new chat and then we need like a little history and at the bottom or somewhere we're going to have some sticky area um, with like the user account or something going on. So um, let's start with a new chat. I'm going to actually put in where we had start before. Uh, so this is our menu area. I'm going to put in a little button that looks just like this. And this is the cool thing now. I could use an ion button, but then I would have to add a lot of different uh, styling um, to that button to make it look exactly like this. Also, can we do it like in here? Yeah, we already got pull to open, so we can also inspect the app on a device if we want to because of my live reload. And then we see this button is simply tag with flex. We got a bit of margin and padding. Um, we center our flex items with a little gap between them. So we have a gap between the plus and the text. We're going to make it rounded uh, and on hover, we're going to have a nice gray background going on. So it also would work nice on the web. We have a duration for the transition. Uh, we have text wide, we have the cursor. Uh, and we have a little border using a specific white value. So, yes, you might have a saying against uh, Tailwind because this looks horrible, but actually, um, I think it works quite nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and create our list. So, for that list, we're going to simply use an ion list with uh, items. In that list, we're going to do it just like this. So, here we go. We have our chat one. What didn't happen? Uh, we have a list with a gray background. Uh, in fact, we don't need this, I think, uh, because we all, oh yeah, I think we do need it. Yeah, it's the same thing like with the ion content. Uh, we need it in the SCSS and we need it in here. We have a border, um, we use minimum height and we have a border at the bottom, which is this little thing going on here. Uh, also, it should look nice on a device. Yeah, there we go. And we have one item. I just made one button inside um, using the router link to our chat, which just opens the chat page. Um, so if I click it, uh, actually, I think it won't work yet. Um, so we might have to change that. But again, same settings for the hover. Uh, and then same settings in here, just making it a bit lighter. And we could, of course, easily now get that data from an API and then display this dynamically. Now, at the bottom below this list, we're going to also display uh, another button, which should show something like clear conversation. So there we go. The button is right here, um, just as that. Actually, I think if we check this out on the web now, um, what is, how does it look like? That's actually looking, looking fine to me. Otherwise, um, if, no, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, our ion content is already covering the full screen. So I actually feel like this is a pretty decent, uh, sidebar UI, isn't it? Uh, only thing is that the router is not killing this. So we could probably use an ionic component here again. So um, this is the ion menu toggle. If we surround something with the ion menu toggle, we should be able to automatically close the menu. Let's give this a try. Yeah, nice. The only thing is if you use an ion menu toggle with a split pane, you don't get that button uh, when the split pane is open. So in order to fix that, we can say for the ion menu toggle, uh, auto height false. And then it's also visible on bigger screens. And now we have our nice responsive split pane setup already in place. I think this menu looks pretty dope, isn't it? Like 
if we check this out on a mobile device, it looks so nice. It looks really so clean. Um, now, if we want to have this on our chat page, uh, or if we want to have a button on the chat page, we can easily add to our ion toolbar, ion buttons, slot start, and then the ion e, uh, is it the ion menu button or is it the ion menu toggle? No, it's the ion menu button, right? Yeah, I think so. So now we have a button to actually open our menu. And this is part one of our chat GPT UI. We got new chat, we got our chat list, and we got an area down here that we can use for something else. Now, let's focus on this page and implement the actual chat. For that, I'm gonna remove the... Now, do I wanna use the ion title? I actually don't know. Let's start with a, a, a tiny bit of uh, TS. Uh, I just want to have some fake data in here. So I create a little enum if the message is from me or from the system and then two messages, one from me and one from the bot. Again, you can check out all of this uh, link below the video. And of course, also there's a full course about this and how we can make this dynamic in the Ionic Academy. So if you want to check that out, ionicacademy.com is the place to go for you. We got a fresh new ChatGPT UI course or it's coming out. Well, it, no, I think it's actually pretty already there. So. Go check it out, Ionic Academy. But here is today some static data. And we're gonna use this to create our chat bubbles. So let's go to the chat page. And on the chat page, uh, I'm gonna start by using for the toolbar, the same setup we had before. So I'm gonna say class Biggie Gray 900. And once again, we're gonna know, oh, this time it actually worked because I, uh, I think because I once, specified it in CSS. If you specify it once, it will be included in the bundle. So there's a little uh, issue going on, but not too big. Uh, I don't want to have it in blue. So I'm going to use color light. That makes it more ChatGPT like. I'm going to remove everything that we have in here because we don't really need that. And I'm going to just call this my chat title. Normally you would make this, of course, dynamic. Uh, also, ah, now you finally lost the, the ability and the trust in uh, your styling. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. Let's add for the ion toolbar my dark color. Oh, uh, you don't like to... Um, you don't like that? Why is my title dark as well? Um, I should probably say text white. Yeah, I like the Tailwind utilities. Once again, you can so nicely combine Tailwind and Ionic. It's just, just a pleasure to work with this. Um, also, I think if you want to be cool, uh, you can go to your app component. Is the status bar also all automatically installed? That would be cool. Uh, capacitor status bar is installed, so you can do something cool. Uh, you can use status bar. Uh, bar dot uh, set style and I want to set this to yeah I always get this wrong but I think this is the right one da da nice now we got a white status bar oh what's going on here uh, is deprecated uh, yeah what's the alternative um, I don't know actually I honestly don't know it's not really giving me any alternative deprecated use style okay and we use style, no problem. Okay, that's a new way of using it. I guess this is a capacitor five change. However, doesn't affect us really. Okay, we got the status bar. Now we need the chat view and we need the footer, which has the actual, also oh, I'm making this a bit up here. Are we gonna start with a footer? Yeah, I think we start with a footer. Um, so where is my chat page once again? There we go. What we can do is we can add an ion footer, just like we would always do if we want to display something at the bottom. And we're going to add an ion toolbar inside to display something. So that shows the area down here. Now, what we want to display is a bunch of uh, diffs with custom styling. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add a text area. In, in general, we are adding a text area and a button. The text area has auto grow, so it can automatically grow. And the button will have an absolute position at the bottom right. So bottom 1.5, right one, 
um, or a different value on bigger screens and on hover it will change but once again we won't be able to see this in a real device we can only see this on the web so with that field here um, we surround this with another class which gives us a bit of padding, a bit of border and some shadow that are defined specifically here. So you can actually with Tailwind CSS define your own shadows just like this or um, just like we used for our custom border. You can use custom values like this. And then you have this nice little input bar in the ion footer, which is of course now sticky at the bottom. So we once again combined component and utilities. And additionally, I don't really like this border. So once again, in that case, we fall back to Ionic stuff. So we say class ion no border to remove the top border of our footer. And then it is gone. And on bigger screens, it should actually or hopefully be, yeah. So on bigger screens, it's not using the full width. On smaller screens, it's automatically using the full width. I think this is a pretty nice setup. Like this is better than the ChatGPT UI, really. If you check this out on mobile, it feels so much better and more native than the actual ChatGPT UI. But we're not yet finished with this. We still need the messages part. So for the messages, we just need to check is the message from us or from the system and then we probably want to include some assets. So let me bring in some assets. So here are two assets, a bot image and Simon image. And now within the content of my chat page, I'm going to check and iterate the messages. If the message is from uh, the current user or if the message is from myself, I want to display the one image or otherwise the other image. They were going to be a uh, fixed width and height, so just pretty small. And overall, the message is just using a flex layout with a gap, some border and a gray text. And as a result, we get this nice simple view right here in our chat input. We got the sticky footer, so I can scroll this area and I can easily add more messages. Can I actually do, can we do this for as a test? Uh, let's just copy this. I hope I'm not breaking this, but there we go. We have a chat area with some text. We have our site menu that we can pull in and we got our uh, sticky footer element down here. And I think this UI is actually better and works better than the official chat GPT UI. And we've achieved this by using Ionic as sort of the general architecture and the components for our app, the split pane, the site menu setup and everything that works automatically. And then we've added Tailwind CSS to get this little additional touch to make this really awesome. Um, to have the dark uh, areas, to have the dark background, to have the flex layout, to have little border, to have little shadows. And I think this is the real value if you want to use Ionic and Tailwind together. Let me know if you enjoyed this quick video. You can find the full quick win on the Ionic Academy link right below the video. So available for all Ionic Academy members. And if you're not yet a member, go check it out. It's definitely worth it. The best place and the way to learn Ionic really fast. So hope to see you inside. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos and I will catch you in the next one. So until then, happy coding, Simon.